planar kinetics of a rigid body, force, and acceleration. This is a continuation of what we have discussed during the face-to-face -face classes last week. Okay, so the chapter objectives, uh, this is also written on the notes I have posted in the Google Plus. So rectilinear translation and curvilinear translation, the concept here is the same as that we have discussed during the kinematics, the sa may rectilinear and curvilinear motion. Now, dun sa may rectilinear translation, we're going to discuss here the the movement of uh, of, of an object or a body dun sa may, dun sa may uh, in a one direction. Dun sa may curvilinear translation naman, naman the movement of a, of a body is discussed during the curvilinear, uh, kinema, uh, curvilinear motion. The body moves on a curve path. So in this following discussion, we will limit our study of planar kinetics to rigid bodies, which along with their loadings are considered to be symmetrical with respect to a fixed reference plane. So, um, in some equations of translational motion, um, parang dun lang, dun lang sa may statics. Um, balikan ko lang, di ba dun sa may statics, we have discussed that summation of forces along x is equal to zero, summation of forces along y is also equal to zero, and the summation of moments is equal to zero. This is statics. But here in dynamics, since we are dealing with rectilinear and curvilinear translation, um, hindi po magzi-zero out as I've discussed with you during the face-to-face -face discussions. Since dynamics tayo, yung ating object or yung ating body is in motion. So, we're going to use the second law of motion as discussed by Newton that is equal to force is equal to mass times acceleration. Now, in rectilinear translation, we are dealing with the x and y component. Now, the third equation of motion is your summation of moments dun sa may Ano tong G na to? That is the moment, or, or that is the moment, lahat ng mga forces doon sa may center of gravity. Now, if we try to open the notes, I have posted in the classroom doon yung module 2, unit 1. Let's say this is a body. Ayan, yung isang object. This is the center of gravity. Ayan, yun yung G. We have here mga forces natin. Let's say, I'd say this is F1, this is F2, ayan, mga yan. Now, if we're going to take the moment of all these forces dito sa may gitna, dito sa may center of gravity, that should equal to zero. Now, if, if ever, we don't like to take the moments dito sa may gitna, let's say I want to take the moment at this point, let's say I did not name that at point A, I'm going to use this one. This is also in your notes in module 2, unit 1. Now, ano yung AG? You may ask na yung AG. We all know that the M here is the mass. Yung AG dito, that is the acceleration at the center of gravity. Do not be confused with this one. This is the same acceleration. Yun nga lang, ang siyabig sabihin nito, yung acceleration dito sa mismong gitna, center of gravity sa object. Okay? Dito naman sa my curvilinear translation. I've already discussed with you this one dun sa my uh, curvilinear motion. When, when an object moves in a curve, meron siyang uh, yung ating mga components ay nandun sa may normal and tangent, and tangent lines. Right? I've already, already discussed with you yung at yung mga normal at saka yung tangent. The same yung ating uh, summation of moments dito sa may gitna or dito sa may uh, center of gravity that is equal to zero. Pero let's say pag ayaw mong gamitin, uh, let's say you want to take the moment at point B, for the curvilinear translation, we're go you're going to use this one. Now, the explanation for these uh, equations in aso nandun sa may module to unit 1, same with the derivation of these equations. I'm not going to go through the details of that as since you, you already have the notes. I'll proceed directly with the application of these e equations of motions. Before I solve uh, problem number 1, in statics, this, we call these equations as your static equations. Now, since we are in dynamics, itong equations po na nakikita ninyo, we call these your equations of motions. Equations of motions. So, let's discuss or let's solve this problem number one. The car shown has a mass of 2 megagram. Now, take note, yung pagkabasa ko dito, hindi po siya milligram. This is megagram since nakakapital letter M siya megagram, and the center of mass at G. 
determined acceleration if the rear driving wheels are always sleeping, whereas the front wheels are free to rotate. Neglect the mass of the wheels. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the wheels and the road is 0.35. Okay. So, in solving problems in kinetics, as always, I've discussed with you in statics, always draw the free body diagram. Now, during your exams or your quizzes, wala pong given na free body diagram. Kayo ang gagawa nito. I have already attached here the free body diagram of this car. Okay. And after you have drawn your free body diagram, you can now use your equations of motion to solve for the acceleration. Since ang unknown po sa problem na to is the acceleration of the car. Now, kung titingnan mo dito sa my free body diagram, ang friction nasa my point B lang or nasa my rear wheel. Bakit walang friction sa my front wheel? It's very important that you read carefully the worded problem. Na nakalagay dito sa may uh, worded problem, the, the, the front wheels are free to rotate. So, ibig sabihin nun, since yung front wheel, it rotates freely. Wala pong friction na nagaganap dito sa may front wheel. Yung the rear driving wheels are always sleeping. From that word sleeping, ang, um, may friction dito sa may rear wheel. Kaya dun lang po nilagay yung friction natin. Okay? Again, properly label your free body diagram para hindi tayo magkamalit sa ating equation. So if I'm going to use the first uh, equation of motion, since yung ating sasakyan, will this fall under rectilinear translation or curvilinear translation? Nagigag the drive ka niya yung niya, nakaroon ng flat J surface. Imposible, magtanga dyan ka di ka kakayab J wagon mo. Unless, no, patal, no, itatara ang mga patayag ng sinha. So, in, in this problem, this is an example of rectilinear translation. So, since rectilinear translation siya, I'll take summation of forces along the x that is equal to m times ag x. Parang din lang sa may statics, I'm going to take to the right positive. Okay. To the right positive. Ano yung mga forces along the x-axis? I have here um, the itong itong frictional force that is Fb since to the left minus that is equal to the mass Utaw, uh, 1 megagram is equal to 1000 kilogram this is already discussed during your physics so baka, baka may mga magtanong bakit, bakit ganyan, bakit ganyan diniscuss na po iyan during your physics so 2 megagram is equal to 2000 Kilogram. Okay? Multiply by unknown po yung acceleration. Nilagay ko lang yung x to identify that this is, ang kinoconsider ko is yung movement dun sa may horizontal motion. Ano yung friction dun sa my point B? Now, take note, this is frictional force. We all, we all know that frictional force during our physics is equal to the uh, coefficient of friction multiplied by normal force. Now, since ang ating uh, friction ay nasa my point B, as you can see here in the diagram, ang frictional force or ang ating FBI equal to negative mu or yung coefficient of kinetic friction that is 0 0.25 multiplied by the normal force at point B that is equal to. Now, since yung ating movement is to the left, ang movement natin, so ibig sabihin yung aking acceleration dun sa may center of gravity ay to the left then. And take note yung ating sign convention, positive po ang to the right. So that is negative 2,000 kg. Ang nangala ako di negative, ulit ako manan. Since di acceleration tayo, di movement di car is to the left, it follows also 
that the acceleration is to the left. Kaya po, negative yun. Okay? Tapos, take ulit yan. Tapunahan kayo nga na ulit. So, our mass here is uh, 2,000 times to the left ni EG is una minus di. Nipat ko ni X. Baka damo na maulo. Apeng yung nikat ko ni X. Nikat ko ni X. Ipakita ko lang di ay nga di motion ko is anong di horizontal. So as you can see here, there are two unknowns. I need one I need one more equation. Tap na maalak di value ni EG. I'll name this equation 1. If I'm going to take summation of forces along the Y, that's equal to, I'll take upwards positive. And along the Y, will that be equal to 0 or mass times acceleration? Now, if we try to look again at this diagram, I'm not in baga na di problem na dilugan kat ni matu or what. So, this is equal to 0. So, the forces along the Y axis, I have here and A upwards plus N B. Ayan. And take note, meron po tayong weight nung ating sakyan. It says that is downwards, 2,000 times 9.82. At tama, that's equal to zero. So, mayroon akong equation 1. Sa equation 1, may NB, may AG. Dito sa equation na to, may NA, may NB. Another may, may isa pang unknown. I'll name this equation 2. There are 1, 2, 3 unknowns, pero dalawa yung equation ko. I need one more equation para may makuha ako. Uh, we all know that from algebra, kapag tatlo ang unknowns, dapat tatlo din ang equation. Since dito, may tatlo akong unknown, si B, N, G, at saka si A, N, A. So, I'm, there are three unknowns. I need one more equation. That's the time I'm going to use. Summation of moments, I'll take at point G. Dun sa mismong sentro, that is equal to Zero. And uh, gamitin natin yung ginamit natin during statics, clockwise, positive. Ano, if itong si NA, no, ag moment is una ka ni point G, that is clockwise. So that is NA times, sorry, NA times 1.25, positive. GNB, no, ag moment ka ni G, na, uh, clock, counter clockwise, so that is negative NB times 0 0.75. Then, FB, kapag uh, magmumumin siya kay G, that is positive, clockwise, 0 0.25 NB. Saan ko nakuha yung 0 0.25 MD? Again, that is the frictional force of point B. Meron pa ba? Mag-zero out yung weight since ipuduman siya sa point G. is equal to 0. This is now my equation. Now, uh, solving these three equations simultaneously, you may directly include this in your calculator. Or if not, you may use your uh, substitution and elimination dun sa may, yung napag-aralan yung during your algebra. Now, in my calculator, ang nakuha kong sagot for NA is equal to 6. Um, and A is 6,879.74 newtons. For N, B, that is equal to 12,740.6 newtons. And for the acceleration dun sa may center of gravity is equal to 1.59. Be careful with your units, that is meter per second squared. Again, the direction of our acceleration is to the left. Okay? Give you, I'll give you time to copy the solution.
Okay, nakopya niyo na. Let's proceed with the next problem. So, for this problem, the 100 kg beam BD supported by two rods have an individual mass. Determine the force developed in each rod if at the instant theta is equal to 30 degrees and the angular velocity or your omega is equal to 6 rods per second. Now, if you try to look at this problem, saan ka magpo-fall? Sa rectilinear ba or sa curvilinear translation? Now, if you try to look again dun sa may given problem, since mabigat yung ating uh, beam BD and given yung ating angular angular acceler uh, angular velocity, I mean, it means na gumagalaw itong rad AB at saka si rad CD. Kung baga, if you try to imagine, it, it looks like a pendulum. Ang mumove iso na to the left and to the right. Since may angle siya, di ba di pendulum? Ha, no, pansin nung di pendulum, kaan mo't iso na nga uh, mumove it ay uh, straight line, di ba? Ang curve yay. So, this problem falls under curvilinear translation. Since under curvilinear translation dito, we're going to use the equation na ito, yung may tangent at may normal line. So, going back to this problem, again, the very first thing we have to do is to draw the free body diagram of this system. So, kung ito drawing ko yung free body diagram, I'll take yung mismong, uh, mismong object natin kasi dito is the beam. Yung ating beam, B, D. Okay. Then, at uh, beam B, meron tayong rod dito. That is the rod AB. Tama? Yan yung rod AB. You may ask, bakit under tension? Tama, under tension siya kasi, di ba? Uh, if you try to look at this, itong dalawang rods na to, si rod AB at saka rod CD, it is holding the, the beam BD. Mabigat si beam BD. So, para hindi siya mahulog, uh, hinihila siya ni AB at saka ni CD. So, this is the uh, tensile force at um, AB. That is my tensile at AB. Same with this one. Meron tayong rad dito. This is the tensile force at rad CD. Now, in the diagram, itong angle na to is 30 degrees. And we have learned from our uh, geometry, if this is 30 degrees, it means this angle here is also equal to 30 degrees. So, kung 30 degrees dito, ibig sabihin yung angle po dito is the same as 30 degrees. The same with this one. Kapag 30 degrees ito, ibig sabihin, yung angle dito, 30 degrees din. Sorry, that is also 30 degrees. Angle dito. That is 30 degrees. And, and, um, wag nating kakalimutan, since, uh, sabi nga sa problem, the 100 kilogram beam, since given yung mass ni BD, Ibig sabihin, kung ito yung gitna, nandito si G, meron siyang weight. At yung ating weight, again, weight is equal to mass times acceleration, so that is 100 kg multiplied by 9.81 meter per second squared. Okay. Yung ating weight. Ma'am, wala bang weight yung rad? Again, read the problem. Supported by two rods having negligible mass. So, ang sabi sa problem, we're going to neglect the mass of your rod for simpler analysis. After you draw the uh, free body diagram, we can now use your equation of motions. Since curvilinear translation po itong problem na ito, I'm going to take the summation of forces doon sa my normal line. That is equal to mass times acceleration doon sa may center of gravity. Again, normal line po ang ginakasigil ko. Bakit hindi siya nag-zero out? Diba, uh, I'll discuss with you doon sa may curvilinear motion. Habang gumagalaw yung body or yung object natin along the curve pa, nagbabago rin yung, for, yung kanyang uh, velocity doon sa may tangent and normal line. So, hindi nag walang mag-zero out doon. Same with this one. Since uh, curve di, 
adang a dati pores i j na ayan i normal kan tangent lines. So, ano yung mga forces along the normal line? But, the question here, paano ko ma-determine kung ano yung normal kung at saka ano yung tangent line? Now, if I'm, I'm going to take this, kung idodrawing ko dito yung aking, yung aking axis dito na lang para makita mo. That is, eh, di ba yan yung idodrawing ko? Since sabi ko, per fact, Curve path yung, yung sinusundan ng ating rod. Let's say, ito yung curve path. Yan, yan yung curve path. So, I'm going to draw here. This is the tangent line. This is the normal line. So, ito ngayon yung magiging reference ko para malaman ko kung yung force ba is under normal or ten tangent line. Now, if you try to look it at this one, yung TAB under siya sa may normal line. So, with that, I can say na yung mga forces doon sa may normal line ay si TAB and agpadati direction TAB kami TCD. Pero positive ba or negative? Kayo na bahala kung anong ilalagay ninyo. But for me, I'll take pag ganyan ang direction ng force, magiging positive. Yan yung magiging uh, assumption ko. Now, nasa sa inyo na kung ano yung magiging sa inyo. Okay? This is the normal and tangent line. If this is 30 degrees, I can say that this angle here is also equal to 30 degrees. That is 30 degrees. Kung gusto kong kunin yung normal, normal um, component ng aking weight, that is equal to 981 cosine of 30 degrees. So, paano naging 981 po sa 30 degrees? If I'm going to isolate this point, dun sa my point G. Ito sa my point G. Ito sa point G, sorry. This is the weight, right? And we know, if I'm going to draw the normal and the tangent line, okay? Kung i-direct shock that way, i-direct shock that thing online, kita yung mati-dianti diagram niya. This is 30 degrees. By vertical uh, angles, if that is 30 degrees, I can say that this is also equal to 30 degrees. Ah, and ang, gust eh, ang gusto kong kunin dito, yung yung um, aking normal line. So, dito pa lang. So, normal line, dito yung jay tangent, dito yung line, yung kulay black ang matikit tayo, dito yung tangent, component, j weight, tapos jay, uh, jay normal component, j weight, iso dito yung kulay red. Naawatan tayo ba? So, no, ipadaktalag pa yung Dito yung normal component ni weight. Tapos, dito yung tangent component ni weight. Magkikits okay, tayo yun. Dito yung weight. Dito yung 30 degrees. So, dito yung kulay red. Dito yung kaya't kung naalaan. Using your trigonometric functions. This is 90 degrees. This is equal to 981 cosine of 30 degrees. Nag-gets tayo? Saan mo nga naala, DJ? So, with, naman niya tagbalin na sign na positive or negative. Napansin na niya dito, J direction, the weight is downward. So, it follows. No, downward dito, DJ normal component, the direction is baka sa zay. Surutin na nga yung yung direction ni weight. Yung tangential component sa zay na direction. So, pansinan nyo, ang yung direction na DJ normal normal component pa ba ba? At ang hindi siya ganito ang direction so that is minus. And hindi pa po tapos yan. That is equal now to the mass of our uh, beam is 100 kg multiplied by our 
multiplied by our uh, acceleration. E doon sa may acceleration, e doon sa may uh, center of graph. Then, again, take note, we are considering that normal. Hindi tayo sa normal. Now, if you try to look doon ulit sa may module to unit 1, it's also, it also explained in there that for the acceleration doon sa may uh, center of gravity, considering the normal component that is equal to your uh, angular velocity squared multiplied by r. Where in r, that is the radius. Saan ko nakuha ito? Pakitingnan ko doon sa may uh, module 2 unit 1. The J, pati the explanation ng ako. So, J, equation. So, with this, what given matin the angular velocity, that is 6 radians per second squared, multiplied by our radius. Now, if you try to look at this diagram, it is already given na yung distance from A to B, considering that the point, uh, the center of uh, cer the path, circular path is at point A, yung ating radius ay siya yung 0.5 uh, meters. Okay? So, 6 times 0.5, uh, 6 squared times 0.5, our acceleration, dun sa may center of gravity, considering the normal component, that is equal to 18 meters per second squared. Baka question kayo, apin nga 18 meters per second squared at radian mo, TJ. Now, a radian is, um, kung siya, you need less, TJ. Explain mo, kanya yun, itang ED physics yun. So, going back to our equation, TA plus TD, Minus 981 cosine of 30 degrees is equal to 100 multiplied by 18 meters per second squared. Kabal ko na lang the unit. Tap na makita yun jay. The unit. Yan. I'll name this as my equation 1. Na, na gamit ko na yung summation of forces doon sa may normal component. I'm going to use summation of forces considering now the tangent. So, tangent. Ulitin ko lang ulit doon sa may diagram ko nina. Ang ating normal ay itong line na to. Ang ating tangent naman ay itong line. Okay? So, dito sa may force, uh, summation of forces doon sa may tangent, I'm going to take yung direction na ganito as positive. That is equal to mass times acceleration dun sa may center of gravity tangent. Kaya hanggang zero out ah, kasi nasa curvilinear translation. So again, go, lo, looking back dun sa may ating uh, free body diagram, ano yung forces along the tangent line? What are the forces along the tangent line? We have ito. Tipulay black na dating na na-discuss pa na ito tayo. Kasi ano nga maana dating? That is 981 sine of 30 degrees. Ayusin ko lang. That is 981 sine of 30 degrees. So that is uh, 981 sine of 30 degrees. Positive kasi yung direction niya, as you can see in the diagram, is the same with my assumption. Positive. Wala na. So, that is equal to the mass. Again, our mass is 100 kilogram. The uh, acceleration dun sa may center of gravity, considering considering yung ating tangent. So, anya ba dito? Kasi ano nga isolve? Dito yung uh, acceleration, dito ay na ayan iti tangent. So, if we try to look again doon sa ating um, diagram, doon ko nakatay ko sila pendulum dito eh. So, pendulum is yun So, if you try to look carefully dito sa ating um, diagram, the, the movement na dito yung rad, pakas dyan eh. Pakas natin movement na. So, dito yung tangent, Ay, sorry, data di normal. Ay, tigitan dyan. Now, 
if we try to look again dito sa may ating illustration, makikita natin dito that our um, AGT, di ba, naadal tayo, J, nakitaan nyo, J, ayan, iti, uh, ayan, iti module 2, unit 1. At that equation, J, J, acceleration, that is a derivative of velocity over time. Pero walang naka-time rate eh. Awan tinaka-time rate dito eh. Awan mo tinaka-time rate kasi nawag na masok ni AG. This is one of the unknowns. Since walang given, hindi naka-time rate yung ating velocity. Kailangan natin isolve si AGT. Again, ang hinahanap dito na dito is the value of our TA, TA and TD. I'll name this as my equation 2. It's the equation 1. The what and known spoon, TA can be TD. So, kailangan ko ito yung isang equation. Ito yung equation 2. Masolve ko lang mo dito yung ikat ni AG along the tangent line. So, ang po nga mag-usar by free, mag- Kailangan kong usunod yung may sapay niya equation. That is summation of moments doon sa may G. That is equal to 0. Again, uh, clockwise positive. So, ang nagiging forces na ag-moment ija ayan ti G. So, dito yung diagram. Ag-moment, dito yung G. Ito ay TAB. But take note ha, nakalak na marigatan. Ala of the, the component, iti TAB, dito ay na axis. At ini TCD, ala of the component na, the colored component na dito. Na iso ti ag moment dito. Nagets tayo ba? I-drawing ko na lang dito sa pare. So, no, dahi tayo jay beam BD, dahi tayo jay rad, kan ni AB, dahi tayo jay rad, kan ni CD. Okay, dahi tayo ni G. And no, kita nyo jay kwa, jay yan ti given, given the gay distances, dahi tayo kat uh, 0 0.4 meters. This is also 0 0.4 meters. Noon ni TAB, ag moment ka ni G, hang kung nga mo di moment arm na. Ngam, no ala of the component ni TAB nga, day to eh, no ala di component na nga day to eh, ang mok nga di moment arm, day to nga force, Ito ni G, 0 0.4. The same with this one, alak the component na nga dito. 0 0.4 yung moment arm. 30 degrees dito, given dito nga 30 degrees. Ayan. Kata di question, kasano garod na ag moment? Mano ba dito? Dito ko lairad na arrow. Kung saan nyo man ang DJ na ikwa, jay, um, na adal yung IG trigo, kung di statics. No, if this, if this is 30 degrees, at no maalak na ito yung uh, na force that is equal to TAB multiplied by cosine of 30 degrees. The TCB, that is also equal to, ah sorry, dito yung kulay red, dito yung TCB. Itong force na to, that is equal to PCD cosine of 30 degrees. Kasi ano nga naala data? Mas connected tayo. So, liyan nyo dahi naadag yung statics kanyang dahi trigonometry kapag nga naala yung dahi pinabalas. So, may surat ko to'y dahi PAB cosine of 30 degrees multiplied by 0.4 positive or negative? Kasi makita yung clockwise, so nga positive. GT, 
TCD. No ag moment kan ni G, a counter is nga minus TCD cosine of 30 degrees. Kapay ba? TCD, TCD. Bakay ba kayo? Di wait nga, dito yung ma'am. Nagpas ka ni G, so nag-0 of DI. Is equal to 0. Ah, sorry, sorry. The moment arm pala ni TCD, that is 0. Is equal now to 0. And name this as my equation. 3. Oh. TAB. TCD. Okay, so no mapansin nyo di talong equations ko no i-relate ko ni equation 1 ka ni equation 3 at that i-masolve ko, right? At that i-masolve ko. Now if you input this in your calculator at that i-masolve ko ng answer PAB is equal to 1.32 kN. Pakay ba kayo? Apay ngay nga 1.32 kN Hindi, nangalangalaan niyo. Hindi ka mga 1.32 kN. This, that is all, this, the same as 1,320 newtons. In round up ko lang isunok at nuhanak ko na yung mag-desdesimal. Okay? JTCD, rimuara nga, the same mat lang, 132 kN. That is also the same as 1,320 newtons. And, Masolve ko mat lang g-acceleration, i-j na ayan normal component. That is equal to 4.9. Masolve ko mat lang ni e-g. Pag-itin ko lang yung sulat ko. My e-g or j-acceleration is equal to 4.9. I-round up ko niya, 91 meter per second. Okay. Ang, tin ang tinahanap lang po, hinahanap sa problem na to, ay yung mga forces doon sa may rods. Okay? Again, kind of give you time to copy yung ating solution. Okay. Now I have um, presented to you an example in rectilinear translation and rectilinear translation. For your activity, for this discussion or for this topic, kindly take a screenshot of this problem number one and problem number two. Let under the rectilinear and rectilinear translation, can you solve these problems? Follow the format. This is problem number one. This is problem number two. The planar kinetics of a rigid body. This time, we're going to focus on the rotation of the physics. Still, we're in the equations of motion. I have discussed with you a while ago the... <coughs> Uh, rectilinear and curvilinear translation. So still we're going to use equations of motion. So I've said uh, these are the equations of motion. Pare-pareho lang equations of motion sa may rectilinear and curvilinear. Mag nagbabago lang siya sa mismo analysis. Now, consider, let's consider a body or a slab. So let's say this is the center of your gravity. May mga forces, forces tayo dito. So, uh, first one, first two, or 3, whatever. Now, dito sa may rotation about a fixed axis. 
So because of this constraint, let's say meron pa akong nilal, if meron akong thing dito, most of the problems in engineering is uh, dito, mag-focus siya sa rotation of physics. Because of this uh, constraint, let's say this is F4, still itong body na to, this will still rotate. Right? This will still rotate. At kaso lang, um, because of the center of mass, the body moves around a circular path. Because of this constraint, and itong may mga forces tayo, expect that this body will move around a circular path. The acceleration of this point is best represented by its tangential and normal components. Tama po. Babalik tayo sa inyong tangential and normal components. And must act in a direction which is consistent with the body's angular acceleration. Ulitin ko, the, the body must act in a direction which is consistent with the body's angular acceleration. Ibig sabihin niyo nun. Diba dun sa may pinag-usapan natin sa may uh, previous topics? Let's say your force is this way. Ito yung force mo. Diba kung saan yung direction ng force mo? Doon din yung direction ng acceleration mo. Now, since our body moves in a circular path, let's say yung resultant ng mga forces na to, it will move in this direction. Let's say yan yung resultant ng ating uh, forces. Ano Kung ito yung resultant ng ating mga forces, expect that this direction, in this direction din, yan din yung direction ng ating angular acceleration. Angular acceleration is ang term na ginagamit natin kasi nga yung ating body magro-rotate siya. Kung sa rectilinear acceleration na ginagamit natin, dito kapag since yung ating body it will move in a circular path, ang tawag natin dito is the angular acceleration and we are using this side alpha. And so to further understand how to use these uh, equations of motion and the rotation of a about a fixed axis, let's have an example. Now the unbalanced 50 pound flywheel shown has a radius of variation of 0 0.6 feet about an axis passing through its mass center. G, if it is released from rest, determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at T. Nawala yung acting figure. Hanapin ko lang. Okay, so this is the figure. If I'm going to draw, the, the very first thing you have to do is to draw the three body diagram. So, in the drawing of three body diagram, since this is the center of gravity, then pinalagay yung weight, given yung weight ng ating flywheel, that is 50 pounds, and given yung ating radius of variation, that is equal to 0 0.6 feet. Now, ang unknown dito is the horizontal and vertical components of the action of the pin. Oh, so, pin ito, yung pinag-aralan natin sa may ating statics. Kapag pin, may dalawa tayong reactions. Ayan. Since ang hinahanap na horizontal and vertical components, now if we try to look at this diagram, I've read a while ago that since uh, our body moves in a circular path, it's better to analyze this na may, na with the normal and tangential components. So I'm going to use um uh, can you take note of my axis? Doon yung horizontal axis ko, I'll name that as my normal component. Kung ating vertical axis, this I'll name that as my tangent. Okay? So, ito ay ang, react, ang reaction sa may normal. Ito naman yung reaction sa O sa may tangent. I'll say pag ganyan ng aking mga directions. Okay. So, ang hinahanap dito si O, N, at saka si OP. Next, kapag may drawing na natin ang ating um, ang ating free body diagram, we can now use our equations of motions. So, gagamitin muna natin si summation of forces dun sa may normal. Tingnan ko siya. Summation of forces sa may normal that is equal to m 
AGM. Again, nilalagay ko yung N to emphasize that I'm considering the components sa may normal. Or this is equal to mass times. Itong omega na to, this is times for your uh, angular velocity. Sugat ko na lang. This is your angular velocity. Ma'am, parang naging ganyan yung equation. Uh, I, I encourage you to to read notes on engineering mechanics to further discuss derivation. Medyo mahaba yung derivation nito. Okay. Multiplied by R or reduce. Ano tong G? Again, itong G nilalagay lang po natin to, to emphasize na yung ating reference ay yung center of gravity. Okay? So if you try to look again dito sa may ating uh, figure, okay? since G, itong G, uh, since yung ating uh, center of gravity moves in a circular path, it will have both normal and tangential components of acceleration as I've said a while ago. Also, since the angular acceleration, which is caused by the flywheel's weight, acts clockwise, anong ibig sabihin nito? Now, if we try to look at this diagram, since yung ating weight ay 50 pounds, tapos mayroon pin sa point O, dahil sa 50 pounds na to, expect na yung ating flywheel, it will rotate, right? It will rotate, and ang, ang rotation nito ay magiging clockwise. Bakit clockwise? Siyempre, the weight na garoto, iguyod na like yung flywheel, agrotate yung flywheel, paklakwise. Right? Imagine that. And, we have this class in, in the, in our previous discussions. Kung yung force ko, ganyan ang direction, sa, uh, susunod sa kanya sa acceleration, kasi directly proportional sila. So, kung ang ating force ay, is direction, ibig sabihin, pati yung aking acceleration to the right then. Same, same concept uh, follows this one. Kung yung aking weight or yung force kung bakit nag-rotate yung aking flywheel ay pababa, ibig sabihin, pati yung aking angular acceleration, pababa then. Okay? The tangential component of acceleration must act now, right? Which is true. Since the angular velocity is equal to zero. Wala namang in-specify dito sa problem na may, velo na, na may, accept, may uh, angular uh, velocity na involved dito. Since walang sinabi dito, and from this analysis, we can say that angular velocity is equal to zero for this. So with that, since zero ito, pag zero out di, the forces dito sa may normal is equal to zero. Ha? Now, I'll take to the ginamit natin sa statics to the right positive. Ano ba yung mga forces to the right? We only have negative on. Right? Wala na. That is equal to zero. So, as you can see here, therefore, on is equal to zero. So, nasolve ko na yung isang unknown, which is on. This time, kailangan ko isolve si ot. I'm going to use summation of forces so my tangent which is equal to mass times the acceleration so my center of gravity again tangent po ang kinoconsider natin that is equal to m times angular acceleration multiplied by radius so my uh, center of gravity I'll take upward positive so ano yung mga forces along the tangent or yung mga nasa nakatayo we have OT, that is upward, positive, minus 50 pounds. Wala na. That is equal to mass. Ano ang mass? Now, ang given kasi dito is the weight of your flywheel, that is 50 pounds. This is not a mass, but rather this is a weight. And we know that weight is equal to mass times, a, times the acceleration due to gravity. Therefore, mass is equal to weight over acceleration due to gravity. And we know that given weight is 50 pounds. Since naka-English, I'm going to use 32.2 feet per second squared. So, ang ating mass now ay equal to 1.553. Um, as discussed during your physics, pound per, per feet per second squared, this is termed as slug. Na-discuss na, na ito during physics. 
para hindi ako lumihes, kindly read, go back to your physics. So, ang ating given ay, one, ay ang ating mass ay 1.553 slug. So, hindi given ang angular acceleration. Given ang ating radius, that is 0 0.5 feet. This is 0. Now, pansinin ninyo, ano yung direction ni alpha? Downwards, so that is minus sign. Okay? Gets? There are two unknowns, unknown si Uti, unknown si Alpha, and name this my equation 1. Okay, nagamit ko yung toto, pwede kong gamitin yung summation of moment at point G that is equal to IG Alpha. Ma'am, ano yung IG? Wait lang. I'll take clockwise mass. GIG dito eh. Kita di bagbaga tayo nga. Mass moment of inertia. And this is equal to mass times the um, radius of clearation squared. GKG dito eh. GKG that is your Radius of duration. Okay. Paano na derive to? Again, go back. Uh, you may read the uh, last chapters of statics under engineering mechanics. Nandun yung full discussion on the derivation of these equations. So, I need to solve for my IG. Nasolve ko si mass, that is 1.55. 3 slug. Given naman yung radius of duration, that is 0 0.6 feet. 0 0.6 feet. Ah, do not forget, naka-squared po yun. Now, if we try to input this in your calculator, my IG is equal to 0 0.55908 careful with your unit is this slug of feet square. Okay, so na, nakuha ko na yung aking IG. So, balik tayo sa may free body diagram. Kopyahin ko na lang para hindi ako babalik. Okay. So, yan yung aking free body diagram. Ano ulit yung mga forces na pag nag-moment kay G, mag-moment kay, mag, kay G. mag out si ON kasi pa, dadaan siya kay G. Si OT, mag-moment siya. Moment arm ko is 0 0.5 feet. Clockwise. Then, do not forget yung sinabi ko kanina since our alpha is clockwise. So, wala na forces. So, that is equal to my IG, 0 0.55908 is log feet squared multiplied by alpha. Now, you have to take note, positive ni alpha ah, kasi clockwise di ay. So, ka positive. Positive. I'll name two unknowns, one equation. I'll name this my equation. Pansinin ninyo sa si equation 1 and sa si equation 2, if you isulat ko na lang dito, yung aking equation 1 kanina ay OT. OT minus 50 pounds. That is equal to 1.553 slug. Alpha 0 0.5. Okay. So, you may, enter, you may enter these values in your calculator directly para masolve natin si 
uh, OT at masasolve din natin si alpha. Can I input this in your calculator? Okay, ang lumabas sa aking calculator is ang aking uh, OT ay 29.5 pounds. Ang aking alpha ay 26.4. Since ang angular acceleration, that is feet per second squared. And since angular, at ang luwabas sa aking alpha ay 26.4. Angular acceleration, angular, the circular path, hindi po natin gagamitin ang feet, but rather, we're going to use radians per second. So, ang hinahanap sa problem na to, nasolve na natin kanina, si OM, that is 0, and OT, that is equal to 29.5 points. Okay, can we copy that before I proceed with the next one? Okay, for this problem, at the instant that 20 kg slender rod has an angular velocity of omega equal to 5 radians per second, determine the angular acceleration in the horizontal and vertical components of reaction of the pin and the rod at this instant. So again, we have to draw the free body diagram. Baka marigatan kayo kasi naka 3D iso na, itudik na lang. So, let's say this is the pin. Again, no pin, may dalawang reactions, di ba? As discussed during your statics. So, this is my uh, vertical, these are my reactions. I'll name this as my OX. I'll name this as my OY. Ito yung aking rod, slender rod. And... Sa gitna, obviously, my weight, kasi given yung mass, this is the weight. Andyan yung center of gravity, always gitna yun. Then may cop, may moment, ipopal tayo dito na 60 newton meter. Yung ating weight, given naman yung mass, that is 20 kilogram, multiply that by 9.81 meter per meter. Ayusin ko lang. So, ang ating weight ay 20 kilogram multiplied by 9.81 meter per second squared. Hmm. Ilalagay ko lang yung mga distances. Yung Ating rod ay 3 meters, so gitna, ibig sabihin 1.5 dito, 1.5 to. Tama. I need also to incorporate here yung aking uh, diagram for the kin kinetics. Paano ba yung movement dito? So since yung aking, uh, boom, uh, yung... Yung moment na 16 newton meters is clockwise. It also follows na yung aking, aking angular acceleration ay clockwise din. Then, so, pwede ko na gamitin yung aking um, equations of motion. First, I have to I'm going to use summation of forces sa may normal that is equal to yung ginamit natin kanina m omega squared r. Bakit hindi dinenecho ko na siya para hindi na ako mahirap. Tunuhan mo na yung natipog dito. I'll take 
to the right process. So, ano yung mga courses dun sa may normal? We have your O, X, wala na. That is equal to your mass is 20 kilogram. Ang ating angular velocity ay given that is 5 radians per ang ating angular velocity 5 radians per second. Now you have to take note ng squared po yun. Multiplied by yung radius or yung distance from the center hanggang doon sa may point O. That is 1.5 meters. So, ang ating, yun na ang ating equation. And then, put this in your calculator. Ilan po yun? 20 times 1 squared times 1. So, ang ating OX is equal to 200, ay, sorry, 750. Take note of our units, kilogram, meter per second squared. Mama, damo, di radians. Ano nga pag anong di, ikatan nila tan di radians. Unit less di radians. Pakapita na lang nga angular di, na di part na is uh, circular. So, ang uh, ating unit ay newtons. Now, if I'm going to take summation of forces sa may tangent, that urgency na po vertical, is that is M, angular acceleration times R. Direct shock condition. I'll take upwards positive. Now, what are the forces na naka vertical? We have O Y, then J weight na 20 kilogram times 9.81 meter per second squared. Tapos na na. That is equal to the mass 20 kilogram multiplied by po oh, hindi given ang angular hindi given ang, ang angular acceleration multiplied by the r 1.5 meters. Now, this time, be careful with this one. No, Jay, ayan iti no, DJ, na i how do they use Be careful with this one. Since dito, sabi natin kanina, yung angular acceleration is counter, ay clockwise yung kanyang moment. ba? Kasi sumurot iso na dyan, ayan, it is 16 newton meter na moment. No, no, DJ, no, DJ, angular acceleration is clockwise. Try to look at this. No, ag moment, ayan, TJ, clockwise, it will follow na DJ mo, um, the tangential acceleration, it will also move surutan na the direction t weight na pababa. So, with that, my angular acceleration here is negative. Okay. Now, I'm going to use my third equation of motion, that is summation of the moments. My reference is the center of gravity that is equal to IG applied by alpha. Clockwise, positive. So, how I'm going to solve for the IG? Now, yung problem, yung first na problem natin kanina is a uh, flywheel, a circle siya. Now, this time, this is a rad. Paano ba kunin yung IG ng rad? Magkakaiba yung kapukuha ng IG natin para hindi na tayo mahirapan. I'm going to send you this one. It, it, this is uh, diagram already kung paano kunin yung mga mga mass moment of inertia depende kung saan yung axis o kung saan magro-rotate yung ating mga forces. So since dito sa sa tribal diagram na to yung at yung ating reference is the the center of gravity kung saan yung mismong location ng G 
and that is a uh, slender rod. Now, dito sa may mga diagram, ang rod dito is either this one or this one. Rod about center or rod about end. But since dito, ang reference natin is the center, so we're going to use this. And ang I dito is equal to 1 over 12. M is the mass. L is the length of your rod square. Okay? So, balikan natin yung ating free body diagram. Yung ating O1, OX mag-zero out siya. So, yung ating OY, the moment arm is 1.5 meters. Clockwise siya. Then, yung meron, wag nyo kakalimutan, meron tayong 60 newton meter. Okay, bagayo, ay na, di moment arm na mo Moment na itanhan nyo ng karkargaan, iti, iti distance na. Moment is na yun. Okay? Then, that is awan, awanin. That is equal to your IG. Again, ang ating IG, di ba't ko lang? Parang, 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 That is equal to your um, um, IG, which is equal to 1 over 12. My mass is 20 kilograms. Multiplied by my length. Length ng ating rad is 3 meters squared. Okay. Then, multiply that by I. Ay. So, meron tayong OY, my alpha. This is my equation 2. Ayos ko lang para process na. Alpha, this is my equation. Solving simultaneously equations 1 and equation 2 can be put the values in your calculator and compare it to my answer. Okay, so these are my answers. Ang aking OY is equal to 19.05 newtons. And ang aking alpha is equal to 5.905 5.905 radians. Okay. So, ulitin ang unknown dito is the value of your OY that is 19.05 and my OX. So, kung isusulat ko yung aking final answers, dito na lang isusulat ko para answers. My OX is equal to 715 newtons. OY is equal to 19.05.
So, inasolve ko na rin si alpha. That is equal to 5.905 radians per centimeter squared. And copy. So, that is my discussion on rotation about an axis. In addition to your activity on this other topic, kindly take a screenshot of these two problems. Again, this is uh, equation of motions, uh, particularly on the rotation about a fixed axis. Okay. And lastly, under the equation of motions, we have the general plane motion. Um, ang isang object or isang body, hindi lang naman yung movement niya is rectilinear, hindi lang naman curvilinear. Di ba? Pwede rin, um, general plane motion ibig sabihin, both pwedeng yung ating object, at, uh, at the same time, rectilinear motion siya, at the same time, nag curve siya. So, if that is the case for a certain body, this is, these are our equations of motions. Can we uh, take a look at your screen? Yung tatlong equations na nakikita nyo dun sa may loob ng box, those are the equations of motion we are going to use, um, specifically for general plane motion. Ay, pa, kung papansin niyo parehas lang mo tiyan. Ay, Ayan, hindi ko tatay. I-discuss ko tatay, di ba? Parehas na lang yung discuss ko. So, let's have an example regarding uh, plane motion. Applying the equations of motion. So, given itong uh, problem, determine the angular acceleration of the spool. The spool has a mass of 8 kg in a radius of variation. 0.25 meters. The cords of negligible mass are wrapped around its inner half and outer rim. The same, we're going to uh, draw our free body diagram. So, okay, what are you drawing, Jai? Free body diagram. A drawing diagram. So, this is my spool. Uh, yan yung acting spool. See, that is a perfect circle. And this is our center of gravity. And then si G. Okay? Dito si point, dito kay point A, mayroon tayong, sabi ko, cord. Dito kay point A, may cord tayo dito. Since, natagsun di day school, under tension yung ating cord. Tama? I'll name this T. Then, mayroon tayong force dito. Ah, okay. I got it. So, may yung ating adage 100 newtons. Dito eh. This is my 100 newtons. Given yung ating mga radius, that is 0.2. Take note of this 0 0.2 meters. Ah. The 0 0.2 meters, that is the distance from G100 Newton hanggang pa ni G. So, that is 0 0.2. Sige, ikaw po. Itong distance na to, ikulay blue. Yung kulay blue, that is 0 0.2 meters. Then, yung distance from G hanggang kay A, that is 0 0.5 meters. Then, since G, meron tayong weight. Zero two, And we have here the weight of your spool. We have the weight 
8 kilogram multiply that by 9.81 meter per second squared. Okay. Yan ang ating free body diagram. Simple lang ang ating free body diagram. Pababa inyo. Pag nag-drawing na natin yung ating um, free body diagram, uh, um, pwede po nang gamitin yung applications of motions. Um, Iklot, ang hinahanap kasi natin dito is the determined angular acceleration. Angular acceler acceleration ang hinahanap natin. So, since angular acceleration, if I'm going to take, ah, saan ba yung acceleration dito? Saan ko ba siya ilalagay? Now, since yung 100 newtons, um, mas malaki yung 100 newtons compared dito sa may 8 times 9.81. 8 times 9.81 is... 178.48 8 times 9.81 is 78.48 at bakal nga amang yung 100 is yung expect na your your spool will move in this direction ha? kapag sa yung direction or clockwise and as I said a while ago since nagdawin ng 100 it will follow also that our Acceleration, angular acceleration is like that. Pangatod, it lacks the angular acceleration. So, given that diagram, simple lang, given that diagram, nga di, angular acceleration, surutan na di 100 newtons, mabaling ko nga usa rin jay, jay, summation of forces along y, that is equal to mass times the acceleration along y. And that is, I'll take upward positive. I'll take upward positive. That is equal now to ah, dj the forces along the y. I have here jt, obviously. Then j100 newtons. Then the weight is 78. 0.48 newtons then that is equal to 8 kilogram multiplied by the acceleration and to unknowns and name this equation 1 I'm not going to use this one itong along x kasi awang mo iti horizontal force so, I'm going to use summation of moments at G that is equal to IG alpha and clockwise positive. So, the gay forces na ag moment IJ point G, I have 100 newtons multiplied by the distance that is 0 0.4 meters minus, so, pay nga minus at counterclockwise ni T multiplied by uh, the distance 0 0.5 meters. Lana is equal to what is my IG? Paano ko ko ulit kunin si IG? And, uh, balikan natin yung diagram kanina. J, dito eh. Since IJ centro ti uh, uh, simit iti axis tayo and uh, hindi naman oh, uh, hindi hamot na abot iti nga iti or hook about symmetry axis hook about diameter okay we have here hook about symmetry axis so ang gagamitin natin eh napansin nyo na nyo na ito pwede na we're going to use 
ig is equal to mass times dr squared. Apay ni, apay nang di kapte ni kapte, example tayo nga di xj flywheel mutlang kaptay. Alagi po yung ig tayo uche kapte m kg squared. Di simba da ito yung dito yung tama. No, no, di, no, di object mo is, baga is, buon solid na circle and your, your axis is naka, di enti mismo na simit. And it is symmetry, symmetrical axis now. We're going to use this one. Mass times your radius of variation. A given mag ITNT problem, the radius of variation, that is 0.35 meters. So, sort of ulit na lang dito eh. 100 newtons multiplied by 0.2 meters. Minus T, 0.5 meters. That is equal to your mass, 8 kilogram. Multiplied by the radius of variation, 0.35 meters squared. Ah, sorry, ito na di patak. Di alpha, do not forget. Meron po tayong alpha di. Okay? So, to unknowns, this is my equation. My equation 1 and equation 2. Now, there is a difference between the acceleration dito sa may AG and sa may first na, na equation. Iba yung angular acceleration dito sa may uh, equation 2. Dito yung acceleration dito yung ayan iti equation 1. That is the acceleration considering direct linear translation. Dito sa may uh, equation 2, that is the angular acceleration. So, we need another equation. Para may masolve tayo dito. Now, a uh, complete solution is obtained if kinematics is used to relate the acceleration doon sa equation 1 and the angular acceleration sa equation 2. In this case, the spool rolls without sleeping on the curve. Okay. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, um, relating the acceleration sa equation 1 and the angular acceleration sa equation 2. This shows up, this gives us a clue na yung rope, hindi siya mag i slip doon sa my point A. Hence, we can use the result, uh, we can use the result that, uh, acceleration, AG, is equal to your angular acceleration multiplied by R. So, we're going to use this, this relationship. So, our AG, here is equal to angular acceleration multiplied by the yung ating radius ay 0 0.5 meters and let's name this as our equation 3 now if we're going to solve simultaneously itong tatlong equations na ito may makukuha tayong values so simultaneously Equations 1, 2, and 3. So, if you try to input these values in your calculator, can we input them? And these are my answers. Angular acceleration is equal to 10.3 radians per second squared. Yung acceleration that is equal to 5.16 meters per second squared. And yung tension dun sa may point A is equal to 19.8 newtons. These are my answers. Can we verify? Input this, uh, yung equations 1, 2, and 3 sa inyong mga calculator. I highlight ko na lang yung equations 3. Uh, equations natin, we have here equation 3. We have here equation 2. And equation. Gamitin nyo itong mga equations na to. Ito yung mga nakuha ko. So, okay, can we copy them? Another problem. 
under the plane, a uh, general plane motion. So we have here uh, the uniform 50 kilogram bar held in the equilibrium position by chords A, C, and BD. Determine the tension in BD and the angular acceleration of the bar immediately after AC is cut. So as always, we have to draw your free body diagram. Drawing ko lang yung actin, yung free body diagram nito. So ang main body natin dito or ang main object is the bar, yung 50 kilogram bar, APJ center. So we, I have here my weight which is 50 kilogram multiplied by 9.81 meter per second squared and um, nakat nakat di ano di ko na ah determine the tension in BD so may tension tayo obviously kay BD yan yan yung I'll name this tension of BD now dito kay may point A Ang sabi dito, the, uh, what is the angular acceleration of the bar immediately after AC is cut? So, nakat na si AC. Given that, uh, I'm going to use my first equation of motion, summation of forces. I'll take X. X. Rectilinear tayo muna. Because apay nga rectilinear pa lang. Apay nga rectilinear. Mukansin nyo, I want it given na uh, angular velocity. Tama, walang given na uh, 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 angular velocity. So, I'm going to use uh, summation of force along x that is equal to m times ag um, to the right positive. Ano yung mga forces along the x-axis? Wala po. So, that is equal to my mass is 50 kilogram times AGX. So, as you can see, AGX is equal to zero. Ang hinahanap natin dito is the tension at BD at saka yung angular acceleration. So, if I'm going to take summation of forces along Y, that is equal to mass times AGY, uh, I'll take upwards positive. So, obviously, pa pasang at ni TB, D, minus A weight na 50 kilogram times 9.81 meter per second squared. Ito na na. Then, that is equal to my mass 50 kilogram multiplied by AG. Why? Now, you have to be careful again with this one. To be careful. Okay nga, be careful kung maka. Um, looking at this uh, free body diagram, obviously, TJ na i... TJ... Dito na system. Itinag-dominar dito yung Dewey. Si Dr. Dewey, diba? As I've said a while ago, no, pababa Dewey, it follows that acceleration along Y is also the work. So, this is negative. Okay. Then, um, one, two, buwang unknowns. I'll name this as my equation one. Kailangan ko pa ng isang equation. I'm going to use summation of moments at G that is equal to IG alpha. I'll take clockwise positive ni TB nag-moment to ni G that is counterclockwise, so negative TBD the moment arm is 1.5 meters wala na that is equal to my IG again, how, I'm going, how am I going to solve for the IG of this uh, bar now we have to go back again dito sa may figure na to gawin ko na lang para hindi ko tama
So, ano yung magiging IG ko? Curtis Bar. Ang ating uh, taxis ay sa center. Rag is the same. Pareho sila ng property sa may, sa may bar. So, I'm going to use this one. That is, my IG now is equal to 1 over 12. The mass of my uh, my bar is 50 kg. Multiplied by the length, that is 3 meters. Do not forget. Square that. Then, ito yung IG. Meron tayo dito alpha. Sa may equation 1, dalawang unknowns. Sa may equation 2, dalawa din. So, I'll name this my equation 2. Now, with this, yung kanina, pin, um, we related uh, AG sa may ocular acceleration. This time, how are we going to do that one? Now, um, I forgot to include this in the given a while ago. That AGY is equal to 1.5 of your alpha. Given ko ito, nakalimutan ko ilagay dun sa may up, dun sa may problem kanina. So, we're going to use this one. So, if we're going to solve simultaneously equations and mul simultaneously equations 1, 2 in this relationship yung relationship na to can we input them in your calculator? Ito po yung mga sabot na nakuha ko. Alpha is equal to 4.905 radians per second squared. Our tension sa may DD is equal to 122 newtons. And yung acceleration doon sa may Y is equal to 7.36 meters per second. So, and they copy this problem. For your activity under general plane motion, can you solve for this problem? Um, can we take note in here? The acceleration doon sa may uh, center of gravity is equal to your angular acceleration multiplied by your range. Can you take note of this? Okay, so can you take a screenshot of that? So, total under the uh, planar kinetics of rigid bodies, still sa my force and acceleration, you have five problems to be to solve. And you have to submit it, follow the format uh, you have been using. You don't need to upload or you don't need to turn it on dun sa my Google Classroom, but I need the hard copy of all your activities as I announced dun sa my Google Classroom. The, yung activity dito sa my Planar kinetics of rigid bodies at doon sa my work and energy. Lahat po ng activities doon. At saka ito is uh, to be submitted. Hard copy po siya. You have to follow the form. And the read instructions I have posted sa my Google. Yes.